Hello guys, my name is Matthew and in today's video we are going to talk about uh, Genbook. We are gonna compare it to some other uh, great online appointment softwares like Acuity Scheduling and many more. We are going to talk about its pros and cons, we'll compare the pricing and also sneak peek into a free trial so you exactly know what you are dealing with. So what is a Genbook? Genbook is an online and mobile appointment scheduling software. Genbook has everything you need to enable online booking, promote your reputation and manage your uh, business, staff and customers. Genbook is for all types of health, wellness, beauty and professional local service providers, including saloons, spas, barbers, massage, skincare, chiropractors, eyelash, medical, tanning, photographers, tax, and many, many more. It's made for small and medium businesses and also of freelancers. You can use it also as a bigger company, but I would say there are better options for you to look around. You can run it in your, uh, in your web browser, as I'm doing right now, and also on your mobile phone. Uh, if it's Android or iOS, it doesn't actually matter. So let's check up the pricings. We've joined with Booksy, so let's check it out. And you straight away see what they are uh, going through. I strongly recommend you to go through it each and every time. But first of all, first month $29.99, which is a little bit more expensive than it used to be. With Solo, it was 25 back when uh, Genbook, when I rem uh, remember it. So let's go and, and Genbook start a free trial. Straight away, we see they're already paired up with, uh, with Booksy. So we hit OK, continue and uh, explore, all, explore all features. Then, curious about pricing, ready to take a leap, saloon owner, okay, explore all the features and let's start a free trial. Your business better. So, get started. Uh, let's go with uh, email address or we have other signing methods. So, you can go with email, uh, with Apple login or with Facebook login. What I'm actually missing is the Gmail one, which is the most uh, common option, but maybe they are not able to strike a deal with them. So continue and start setup. Business name. Uh, Making. Prefix, uh, we are looking for Slovakian one. Wow, they are really, really everywhere. All 190. Slovakia. Like this, have a full call, I don't. Password for set it up. Let's go with this medium one for a sake, but you can add some special characters as well. Okay, choose your business category. Aesthetic medicine. Barber, braid and locks, chiropractic, day spa, dietitian, message. Let's go with... Uh, Tattoo shop? Why not? Where can your clients find you? Okay, at my place. Or at client's location, at my place. And somehow... Let's see if we can find... Uh... I think this is only giving us 
uh, this is only giving us US. Mm -hmm. It's only giving us uh, the US location and there is not actually an option. So we are going to go with at client's location. Okay, we can go with, for, ex for example, New York. Let's go with uh, Just continue, maybe. Oh no. This is so hard for a European to fill out. Street address name. Okay. City. New York zip code. Oh, one moment. Continue. Continue. What is your travel fee? We can go with free, whereas fixed at starts at, let's go with free and continue. So you'll be able to visit your customer in a 15 kilometers range. Fill the details, continue. So we can leave it like that. But if you want to change it, you can start even at, I don't know, completely up to you, eight and and at 5 p.m copy business hour yes this is very nice way to do it you just copy it to the rest of the days and you see that you don't have to change every single one step at a time continue show of your work, workplace skip start adding services okay continue Continue. Let's go it in seven days. And we are saving it. So how easy or difficult was the onboarding the registration process? Well, I have to stand in the middle only because of uh, the thing that I'm from Europe and I don't really know the, all the zip codes. So continue. And adding, okay, we just skip that. Here we are, finally, after few times or few few moments of uh, setuping uh, the booksy. So 26, 27, we have all the dates here. Also appointments, checkouts. We have our clients where we can uh, grow our database. With checkout, people can just pick one. Or temporary tattoo parlors or uh or tattoo itself also we are providing the services you can add add-ons products custom amounts and many more there's inventory which will be uh, only consistent about like the paint i imagine and needles and also here is the main option or main dashboard for you where you can just fill in all the dates and just by that we see this is uh let's go to 27th and with this drag option we can easily say new appointment select the client fill in the details and many many more if you leave it empty, there's going to be a walk-in. So yeah, select service, tattoo, and save. 
new client details, not now. So it's a walk-in client. And you know that, uh, for example, if someone mobile info, okay, but that's not all because it's walk-in. If someone uh, or if someone cancels the appointment, you can easily open the window for walk-in if there's not enough time for you to book a new client or find a new client and you don't really want to leave the door open for no reason. Just remember guys, those are just beginners uh, steps. I'm gonna create uh, shorter videos about each and every option that uh, Booksy or uh, Genbook provides. Thank you guys for watching. If you have any types of questions, please leave them underneath this video and I'll try to answer them as quickly as possible. Thank you guys and see you in the next one. Have a great day and goodbye.